The DevExpress ASPX Round Panel Control is a container area with rounded corners. In this video, you'll learn how to start using the ASPX Round Panel and how to customize its properties. I'll start with the basic one-page application created with the DevExpress ASP.NET project template. Let's add the ASPX Round Panel Control to the page from the Visual Studio Toolbox. You'll find it under DX, version 14.1, Navigation and Layout. Or you can also use the Search Toolbox feature and type the name of the control. Many DevExpress ASP.NET controls are prefixed with the ASPX tag. Let's drag and drop the control onto the page and populate it with content. I also set the panel corner radius to 10 pixels. header text to details, and change the control width. And let's run the application to see the result. You can see a round panel that can be collapsed using a collapse button. Let's return to Visual Studio and customize the control's properties. A round panel can be collapsed using two elements. The first is a collapse button that is visible by default. You can hide it by setting the show collapse button to false. The second element is a header. To enable collapsing by header click, set the Allow Collapsing by Header Click property to True. Note that you can specify this property using the Control Smart Tag. When a panel is expanded or collapsed, the client side collapsed changed event fires. Let's hook into the event so that we can change the panel's header text. First, I need to specify the Control's Client Instance Name property. In the event handler, I change the header text based on the panel's collapse state. Let's run the application to see the result. Now the panel can be collapsed by clicking on the header, and the header text is changed when the round panel is collapsed. The round panel has the capability to load the panel's contents on demand using callbacks. This can be useful to load your web page faster. So let's try this functionality. I'd like to update the panel's content by clicking on a button. For this task, I'll use the client-side perform callback method. First, I add a button to the panel. Then, I disable the button's auto postback property and call the panel's perform callback method in the click event handler. If a panel is initially collapsed, then it can be loaded without any content, and it would then get its content when it is first expanded. To specify the initial collapse state, I can use the Collapse property or just click the Collapse button in Design View. Let's set the Load Content via Callback property to True so the collapsed panel's content is loaded when it's first expanded. Additionally, I pause callback processing on the server side for a second in order to make the loading panel visible during callback. And let's run the application. Now the panel is initially collapsed. When I expand it, a callback is sent to the server side and a loading panel is displayed for a second. When I click the button, the panel's content is updated. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.